I'm Steven with Ledger Gurus, and in this video, I'm going to do a review of Brex Cash. So I had a request from Indiana Jones to do a video on Brex Cash, and who can refuse a request from the greatest archaeologist ever? So Brex Cash is like a bank account, but it's not a bank. And when I asked Brex how they're doing these things when they're not a bank, they told me the following. And I'm going to quote, Brex is a bank account alternative. They do not hold a bank charter. It does, however, serve many of the same purposes. Brex Cash allows businesses to store, invest, spend, and track money. When you store unallocated funds with Brex Cash, the money is transferred to one of the company program banks. There receives expected FDIC insurance coverage up to $250,000. If you prefer to invest, Brex Cash also allows you to place cash in a money market mutual fund to earn yield. Up to $500,000 of your invested cash is covered by SIPC if the applicable firm fails. Oh, that was a mouthful. So anyhow, they're... They are a technology company who is partnering with banks to, in essence, create a bank-like experience with your money. So it is in a bank, but it's not Brex. Brex is using the partner bank. So some of the features of Brex Cash include, it's a bank account, has a bank account and a routing number. So you can transfer money via ACH or a wire. You, no fees for either the ACH or the wire. That's a pretty big deal. No minimum balance, no minimum opening deposit, no monthly fees. So that's cooler than most banks. You have the ability to earn business credit with no personal guarantee and have access to Brex expense management. Higher rewards on spend with your cash account. So you generated rewards with your Brex credit card. Those get higher when you have Brex cash account. And there's this thing called instant revenue for e-commerce sellers, which I'm going to talk about later. So let's take a look at the Brex cash account in the product and see what it looks like. So here we are in the Brex dashboard. Let's go ahead and look at the process for creating a Brex cash account. I've already got my Brex credit card set up and it looks like we just have to click apply now. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to fill out the information here in this uh, screen a lot of that's already there you got to say if you're a controlling officer so i'm going to go ahead and fill that out looks like it's going to have me verify my identity all right so my identity has been verified going to click done all right, now after a lot of identity verification, I've gotten to this point which says, look for an email from Brex within the next two to three days with further details on your account status. So we're gonna wait for that email and we'll go from there. All right, so here we are a few days later. Uh, my account was approved. Let's see what's in Brex Cash. So you'll see that I have my bank connected for the Brex credit card and it's asking me to deposit funds from the bank into the Brex account so that I can do stuff with that money. I have my available balance. Right now it's zero, I haven't put any money in. I have an actual bank account with an account number and um, routing number and all that stuff. Looks like they are using the Lending Club Bank as the underlying banking partner to manage the money. Uh, I have the ability to do wires. So I have, looks like JP Morgan Chase and a Swift pick code for wires. Uh, supposedly I'm gonna get a Brex daily card that'll act more or less like a deb debit card. I have the ability to add vendors here so I can pay them. Uh, and then there's statements in here, which uh, is what I'd expect from any bank. So as you can see that it's a ver got a very clean experience, very straightforward, easy to use. Let me talk briefly about instant revenue as it wasn't demonstrated in the account. Essentially, your unpaid revenue from e-commerce platforms can be used towards credit on your Brex credit card or Brex cash account. You can take money into the Brex cash account for a fee. So as you know, you sell a product on Amazon or another platform and there's a period before that money shows up in your bank account. As you integrate that with your Brex cash account, you can start drawing on that. So you can, for a fee, can take uh, money from Amazon for 1.5% fee or 1.0% for other platforms. The way this is done is by connecting the payout from the selling platforms to your Brex cash account. 
And the platforms they have in their documentation include Amazon, Shopify, Stripe, Square, and PayPal. So here are my thoughts on Brex Cash. Three points. First, I like the ability to increase cash flow using the instant revenue feature. This is a cool feature if you're selling online, something to consider if you're cash flow constrained, it's a new tool. Second thing, the features appear easy to use, but they're somewhat simple as of this review, which is September 2021. So if you're small and everything is done by one person, it might be a good fit. But if you have a more complex organization where you need lots of approvals, there's other solutions to accommodate that. Let's see how this product progresses. I also love that there's no cost fees for moving money. That is really great. Any bank that charges fees, especially high fees, is lame. Overall, Brex Cash feels like a solution for smaller businesses and sellers. When you get bigger and have more people involved, you're probably going to need something a little bit more complex, but it's a cool solution if you're small and getting started. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, ask me a question in the comments and I'll answer it. I'll possibly even make a video from your comments. And if you need help with Brex or other accounting services, reach out to Ledger Gurus with a link below.